My name is Mike Lee. I'm CEO and co-founder of Fundica. This is Susan. Susan is an underrepresented rep entrepreneur. She has a smart-ass team, a kick-ass product, and a big-ass market, but she needs some funding. Where is she going to go? She could go look at loans and equity, but they're expensive and onerous. She's much better off starting with government funding. The problem is, where do you find it? How do you access it? Enter Fundica. Fundica is a funding search engine designed to efficiently enable entrepreneurs to identify, organize, and apply for relevant government funding. How does it work? We use the latest state-of-the-art technology to bring together tens of thousands of funding programs, using bots, partners, funding analysts, funders, apply intelligent algorithms on top of that to ensure the results are comprehensive, up-to-date, and relevancy-ranked. Do entrepreneurs love it? We surveyed our, our, our user base of tens of thousands, of many tens of thousands of entrepreneurs, and of the respondents, 98% said they would recommend it to others. So what's our business model? We license our solution to financial institutions and other entrepreneur support organizations. These organizations not only help these entrepreneurs find the funding, the government funding, they capture firmographics, they promote inclusion, acquire and retain clients, and they really become that one-stop, thoughtful funding advisor. So let's go take a look at what funding is available for Susan. So we're going to go into Desjardins. They are the largest credit union in North America, and they have offices or branches in both Canada and the U.S. If you go to the, their website and you look for government funding, scroll down, you kind of see what's available and how to go through it. And we go in and we're going to actually see what's available for Susan. So Susan's business was started in 2020. She is uh, in the AI space, working with that in pollution. Her postal code is right here in San Francisco. Number of full-time employees, just four employees. Revenues last year. Early stage, email address. We go in here and we hit submit. So now we're going to collect all the funding programs, the, the federal, the state, and the municipal programs. We're also going to go in and further define her profile. So in her case, she is a woman. She was part of an underrepresented group. Air of Operation Any. Ownership there, developing new product, modifying product. She's working on a pollution system with AI, so it's improving energy efficiency. And for the rest of that, we'll just leave it as it is. So these are the funding programs that are available. And if we go and we look at, let's say, the Carl Moyer program, we'll see the description, funding limits, expenditure limits, contact information, guidelines and forms. We go right in here in the application form, be it Word, be it uh, a PDF, be it a link, it will work in all those cases. She can also contact the funder directly. But here's the real magic. <clears throat> Behind that, we're capturing all this information. The bank can actually see the firmographics, can export this information either in Excel or into their CRM, can go and visualize it and see all the kind of key metrics, and KPIs, how many users, what they're doing, where they're going. Um, get some analytics as well, so really understand these individuals, which are all looking for funding. So they're all looking for exactly what the bank offers, and that we've captured all this very valuable information um, the bank can use in different ways, in different campaigns. We've also got a more of a white glove advisor tool. So this is one where someone within the bank, an advisor can go in, create a profile, modify it as much as they like for anyone, including Susan, and they can actually send it to her in Excel or various other formats. Um, so it's a very kind of a, a, kind of a more one-to-one -one type product. So if we come down to it, um, our solution, uh, we've also, over the last little while, we've been able to actually increase the traffic, conversion, and, um, and actually utilization on our website by using notification, um, by using different uh, syndication approaches, and by enhancing the insights we're providing. 
Having said all that, this is Susan. We found some interesting funding for her. Um, and if we go back and look at the funding in a little more detail too, we looked at, we picked out the Cara Moyo program that worked well. We can go into loans. See, there's a San Francisco specific loan. And we could look into CAD tax credits as well, and loan guarantees, and see all our favorite programs. So now we found the programs for Susan. The next step for her would be to validate them either with the agency or with an advisor and hopefully get some funding. So if we come back to the beginning, this is Susan. We found some funding for her. If you want to join us, democratizing access to funding. You really understand that government funding is the most accessible funding. It is the, the cheapest funding to go get. It's the place where everyone should start. And why should you do this? To promote inclusion, to become a complete funding advisor, to acquire and retain clients at scale, also these days to increase deposits. Thank you.